This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to import a foreign configuration on a Dell LSI 9341 8i controller. So if you recently replaced your RAID controller because you thought it was defective, like the system wasn't booting properly, or you were getting like a PCIe training error or some sort of other fatal error caused by that uh, LSI card, um, this is uh, what you'd want to do um, if you ran into an issue where the array configuration wasn't automatically imported by the new controller. So typically what happens if you replace the controller, it'll find that foreign array configuration on the drives that you have installed and it'll automatically boot into Windows. It'll just find it for you. Now, if it doesn't, um, and this could be because you have like a super old firmware or something like that, if it doesn't pick it up, um, this is what this, that video is for. So we are going to take you inside to that RAID utility. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Here's our LSI 9341-8i. Here's our firmware package. So we are, we basically, ours didn't import it automatically. And so this is what's going to pop up on the screen. It says foreign configuration found an adapter. Press any key to continue or C to load the configuration utility or F to import the foreign configuration to continue. So you... Typically, you just hit F here um, and let it import that foreign configuration. Um, and and But we're going to do it manually. So we're going to go on and we're going to hit C again to load the configuration utility. We're going to hit Y and let it bring us into that configuration utility. So it sees our four drives. We just saw it on post. We're in the utility. So you'll hit F2 on no configuration present. And then when you go into uh, that, that utility, you'll see that there's an option called foreign config. So there's going to be two options here to import or clear. Do not clear it. If you clear it, it'll it'll get rid of your RAID configuration on the drives, and then you won't be able to boot to it. So definitely go to the option where it says import, and go ahead and hit click uh, yes. And then at this point, you can hit escape, save, and exit. It should have found your virtual disk on the screen, and then you go ahead and boot into your operating system. If for some reason it doesn't boot into your operating system, you may have um, corrupt data on your drives, or you may have lost that foreign configuration, um, or you know, there are numerous issues. You know, uh, that can be caused by power outages or other, you know, problems. So hopefully, you have a backup. Um, at that point, you're most likely going to be trying to do some data recovery and reloading your OS. But um, I would say, like 75% of the time, this is going to boot you right back to your OS. And I hope this information was was super helpful to you. Um, if you um, are curious, you can check out GreenPCGamers.com for additional content. We do a ton of how-to videos with uh, Dell Precision Workstations. If we were helpful to you, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps us out big time. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We do uh, free giveaways on extra computer hardware that we have for our how-to videos. If you have live questions, definitely hit me up on Twitch. Uh, you can see my handle, JBigTicket23. I'm happy to answer live hardware questions. Uh, in the middle of gaming. Thank you so much for watching.